There's nothing that grinds my gears more than hearing about infighting among people on our side. And of course, you know, I'm a big fan of Tucker Carlson, but I don't want to see some like big political fiasco erupting either. And I understand his perspective. I understand the other perspective. But uh, guys, let's let's focus on the target is all I got to say. They probably don't even watch my show, so I don't know why I'm saying this, but that's how I feel about things. I really want our side to win in this culture war that's fighting right now. It's important, not just for ourselves, but for our children, our grandchildren, and everybody else uh, that's out here right now, because we are facing spiritual battles like we've never seen before with all the weird grooming crap going on. It's becoming just normal people versus pedophiles out there, and we want to be on the right side, and we can't afford division. We really can't. All right. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator, and I'm going to have Flying Sparks Ultra Light Beams, the final volume, rolling up on Kickstarter in just a bit here. So make sure to click that green button, notify me on launch, and you'll get a nice email alerting you to my contribution to the Culture War, which is my books. These are different. These are my comics that are going to be separate uh, from the mainstream culture out there, trying to get rid of a lot of the degeneracy they're pushing these days and do something different, make stories that are right, that are true, that are good, with wonderful heroes uh, that actually, uh, you know, espouse the values of real heroism. So check that out. That link's in the description below. I've got a bunch of other books too, something for everybody, guys. So check those out, support the channel, and I appreciate you guys for being there. All right, here is the news story of the day. Uh, Tucker Carlson lashes out at GOP campaign chief and irate private call. So apparently uh, Tucker Carlson phoned uh, Tom Emmer, from Minnesota, the chairman of the House uh, Republican Campaign Committee, with an ultimatum to reveal which staff member took a swipe at Carlson's son, a Capitol Hill aide, in a, an article about an internal House GOP politicking, or the Fox host would assume Emmer himself was to blame for the quote. So I get this. I mean, as a father of if somebody's out there going after my kid or whatever, I wouldn't want that. And of course, his kid's probably just trying to make his career in politics as a staffer and somewhere doing something, actually doing his work, and really doesn't need the media following him around, hounding him for attention. So this is a, a protection move of a father to a son. It's a good father move by Tucker Carlson. I got to applaud it on that level. So I looked at the quote, though, on the other hand, and I got to look at this and be like, this is pretty innocuous. So here's what the story says. Um, you know, it's it's kind of uh, uh, it's I got to get down here. Uh, the, the quoted the anonymous GOP strategist saying banks, uh, which is a representative from Indiana who hired uh, Buckley Carlson, deep down uh, dies to be liked by the establishment. He hires Tucker Carlson's son, a 24 year old kid to be his communications director. So, you know, the implication is that, uh, you know, the younger Carlson doesn't actually have uh, the, uh, you know, bona fides to do that, which I don't know. He probably does. I mean, he probably went to a really good school and is probably doing a really good job. Most of these, these staffers of congressmen are like in their 20s like this, and they're trying to make their way up in a career in politics, try to ingratiate themselves in different positions to get to better positions. So this is not abnormal. Um, this is something that if this kid is actually, you know, has a good communications degree and is doing this is not unheard of. It's not out of the realm of anything. But the way that his phrase makes it look like, you know, of course, he doesn't have the qualifications here and is being hired because of nepotism. I don't know. Uh, and this is where it's at. So I can see why Tucker Carlson's mad. But at the same time, we're like a couple weeks out of an election, guys. Just chill. Calm your tits, everybody. Because look, there's a lot more going on and there's a lot more at stake over these next couple of weeks than some political petty infighting where we're going at one another. And if we go at one another now and if we're attacking one another now right before this is happening, this is going to harm those sort of races right before the election. Remember, every congressional seat in America is up uh, every two years. And so you have to go through these elections as a congressman at this point, And they can't be afford they can't afford to be distracted by this kind of thing at this point in time. So. Look, it doesn't look that great. I hope whoever like said it apologizes that everything gets back to normal here. It's not a nice thing whatsoever, but that is my message at the end of the day. No infighting. And this goes, look, this goes all the way down the board. I mean, this happens in the media. It happens in our little YouTube circles. The infighting never does any good. We all can lift each other up. We all can build a brighter future. And we do it better when we stand together. We don't do it well when we're actually apart like this. And that's my message for the day. So let's try to be positive. Let's try to help each other out. Tucker Carlson, love your show. If you do watch this, <laughs> I hope that your kid succeeds in his career. And I hope that the GOP can get their act together and fight against the real enemy who's trying to destroy our culture. All right, my name is John Delarose again. Thanks for watching the show. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.